Windows hitting end of life and thinking about switching, today we compare two modern Linux desktops, Ubuntu 25.10, Canonical's latest interim release, and Zorin OS 18, Zorin Group's polished, Windows-friendly distro. We'll cover foundations, UI, hardware support, app ecosystems, privacy and updates, and which one fits different users. Quick snapshot. Ubuntu 25.10 Questing Quokka is the latest non-LTS Ubuntu release focused on fresh desktop tech like GNOME 49, modern apps, and a Wayland-only desktop experience. It's a nine-month interim release aimed at users who want the latest improvements. Zorin OS 18 launched as a major new version based on Ubuntu 2404 LTS. It's positioned as a friendly, Windows-style desktop with switchable layouts, extended support, and long-term support credentials via its Ubuntu LTS base. Base and support model. Ubuntu 25.10 is an interim release with nine months of support. It's for people who want current toolchains and features but aren't looking for LTS stability. If you need extended support, the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS line is the recommended choice. Zorin OS 18 uses Ubuntu 24.04 LTS as its base, which means you get the long-term security updates and a stable base, while Zorin layers its theming, apps, and usability tools on top. A big plus if you prefer less frequent, more conservative upgrades. Desktop and user experience. Ubuntu 25.10 ships with GNOME 49 and a fairly stock GNOME experience with improvements such as lock screen media controls, per monitor brightness control and quick settings, new default apps, loop image viewer, Tixis terminal, and a push to move everything onto Wayland. Canonical is also experimenting with replacing traditional utilities with memory safe Rust rewrites where appropriate. Expect a modern, minimal GNOME workflow. Zorin OS 18 focuses on familiarity for Windows migrants. Switchable desktop layouts, including a Windows-like layout, more visual polish, rounded corners, floating panel, refined animations, and a curated set of beginner-friendly tools. Zorin's appearance and desktop layouts make the OS feel immediately comfortable for former Windows users while remaining customizable for power users. Bottom line, Ubuntu, modern GNOME, lean and upstream first. Zorin, curated, familiar, and designed to reduce the migration friction for Windows users. Performance and hardware. Ubuntu 25.10 includes newer kernels and graphic stack improvements. Linux 6.17 slash 6.1 series backports depending on flavor, which improves support for the latest Intel, AMD, and discrete GPUs. It's also been the subject of early performance testing showing modest gains on new hardware. Note, Ubuntu has moved away from offering an X11 session for GNOME. Wayland is the default and sole GNOME session. Zorin OS 18 is built on the Ubuntu 24.04 kernel stack. Zorin lists kernel 6.14 for the 18 release. Tuned for compatibility and long-term hardware support, and aimed to run well on a wide range of laptops, including older machines. That makes it a strong option for repurposing older Windows PCs. Apps and Package Ecosystem Ubuntu emphasizes Snaps and Canonical's curated Snap Store while also supporting traditional APT packages. The 25.10 cycle also includes newer default apps, Loop, Twixis, and ongoing developer-centric toolchain updates. Be aware of occasional packaging edge cases. Flatpak integration has seen regressions in some setups. Check the release notes for workarounds. Zorin bundles easy access to the Ubuntu repositories plus Flathub and Flatpak support and exposes familiar Windows formats like optional .exe slash .msi handling with helper tools. For users migrating from Windows who want easy access to a broad set of apps, Zorin's approach is intentionally inclusive. Privacy, Updates, and Enterprise Friendliness Canonical focuses on rapid upstream innovation and has solid enterprise tooling available. Ubuntu's frequent interim releases are ideal for testers and devs. Zorin places more emphasis on user-facing privacy defaults and a gentle update cadence aligned to the Ubuntu LTS base, attractive for personal users and small organizations that prefer stability over cutting-edge churn. Who should choose which? Choose Ubuntu 25.10 if you want the latest GNOME experience, newer kernels and toolchains, and you're comfortable upgrading every six to nine months.
or you use it as a testbed slash design for development. Choose Zorin OS 18 if you or your audience are switching from Windows, want a gentle learning curve, prefer long-term support from the Ubuntu LTS base, or want an out-of-the-box, polished desktop that just works. Quick practical advice. Test both in live mode on USB before committing. Backup Windows or important data and create a recovery USB. If you rely on specific closed source apps, check driver and app compatibility first. Games, GPU accelerated apps, proprietary drivers. If you want an LTS stability promise, prefer Zorin 18 LTS base or Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, not 25.10. Finally, which one should you pick? Drop your hardware and use case in the comments and I'll recommend the right distro for your setup. Like and subscribe for an in-depth install and tweak guide for both Ubuntu 25.10 and Zorin OS 18. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.